we have a now I'm trying my best not to actually look at the sun <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I've been doing research and prepping for this for a oh, better part of two months now we have purchased uh, a, a Tiffin solar filter for this camera here do you want me to hand it so we can kind of get a view of it plugged into uh, an external monitor I have that's um, so we can get a better view but mainly I've been I've been framing through the, the viewfinder here uh, when it comes time for totality we will be using this Teradek backpack that we have um, this is what we use to live stream certain events uh, we'll use these little boxes called the Teradek Go um, that's just a little box that plugs into Wi-Fi or Ethernet. We prefer Ethernet. Um, but for situations where we don't have access to those things, we have this backpack um, that is essentially a really high-end cell receiver, cellular data receiver. This is the equivalent of like six cell phones, basically. So this uses cellular data that we'll use to live stream. Uh, I have a battery that I'll plug into it. And uh, as, soon as, we st uh, as soon as we turn it on, we get charged money. Um, not too, too much, but still enough that we only break it out for special events like this. Uh, once we get closer to totality, I'll be live streaming it. I also have it plugged into a microphone that's just leading to headphones on my laptop playing classical music just for... Oh boy, I'm losing focus. Is your laptop plugged into power? Yeah. No, it's not. Anything else you want to talk about? Because I've been uh, uh, very nervous about this day. Uh, because I wanted it to go well, because I think it'll be cool, but so far things are going good. I have a lot of great people helping me out. Hi, Ian. It's my roommate, Ian. He's also photographing it for his own use. And of course, Jordan. I want to drop it. Shout out, Jamie. We're doing great. We're striving to thrive. We're having a great time. It's the eclipse. Why would you schedule a flight now? Also, 400 million equivalent distance away. Yeah. So the fact that we get eclipses to the intensity that we do is kind of a miracle. And it's also like it won't happen forever. No. So eventually the last eclipse. Yeah. yeah. Why will that happen? The sun's getting bigger. Well, that, the, the faster thing is the moon every year is moving like a millimeter mm -hmm. away from the Earth. Oh. And so what's happening is that's going slightly faster than the sun's expanding. Interesting. And so what's happening is that the, eventually there'll be one last eclipse and then there'll all be annular eclipses. Hi. Um, so, which is partial eclipses. Yeah, so Bailey's beads, you'll see them like during the eclipse, right as like totality starts and ends. And basically what those are is you're actually seeing the sun passing between valleys on, um, on the moon. And because the moon is so much smaller than the earth, there's like not a lot of surface area. And so you get like little divots of light. You can see those really, really brightly with um, binoculars or a telescope. Um, and the corona is what you're going to see around is essentially the sun's atmosphere, which is actually a lot hotter than the sun. Um, I don't know. That's about it. Um, more sun facts.
Well, what are you doing here? Want to talk, talk, about, talk about that? What have you got? Sure. Um, so I just have a 50 millimeter uh, M4 lens, and I've got a solar filter. Mm -hmm. and I'm not looking through the viewfinder, though it's a digital viewfinder, so it shouldn't matter. And I've hit it to the max ISO, and I can't really. I haven't. I set the exposure to. I mean the aperture fairly low or fairly high large aperture um, and I'm just hoping to get some good photos and hopefully because I don't have binoculars it'll look a little bit better than just through glasses um, yeah you can do quite a lot with little you can. You have, you, have you looked in the glasses yet I have I mean obviously I want to capture the shot and I want to get on. It is quite beautiful to see with your own eyes. And this is just the partial. Um, and I've seen a partial eclipse before because in, in the 2017 eclipse on the East Coast, I was in New Jersey at the time, we had the partial. And it was really impressive then. And it's. Yeah, there's nothing quite like it. Five seconds. Let me go over to YouTube. I'm also going over to YouTube here. Let me restart my YouTube app and see if that does anything. Uh, it usually takes about 30 seconds to get from... Oh, I mean TV is live. Hell yeah. You're Thank... good to go, Steve. Thank you, Drew. You're very welcome. Enjoy Steve. the eclipse. Enjoy the rapture. See you on the other side. Yep, bye. Now what are we doing, Steve? We're live streaming. <laughs> now the nerve-wracking stuff begins, because people are watching us. Four people are watching us so far. You got our stream going? Yeah. You can see. Hell yeah. And there's music That's us. Too. That's us. And the music sounds alright. It's I think it, it's cutting right now, but yeah. It's 85%. This is 85% right. That's crazy. Oh man, I should have set up like a, a like um it's not it's not really coming off on this camera but it is it feels visibly darker if you, if while there's still like, being sunlight set up like a stop motion not last time. time lapse time lapse you could totally notice it yeah and i can tell you if it's on the channel yeah but to the uh, to the human eye it does look darker while there's still being sunlight it's colder. It's cold. <laughs> yeah, it's nighttime, guys. Go to sleep. Birds are going crazy, and it it looks like day for night in an old movie. Uh, two minutes. What are you doing? Five minutes. I'm switching over. I want uh, Strauss's Blue Danube to play in the midst of totality. Uh, sort of a cheeky reference to 2001: A Space Odyssey. Uh, but I didn't want to play also Strauss Verkuka or whatever the, the iconic 2001 song is. I, I don't know how to pronounce German. Um, um, so, and the nice thing is, is that Strauss's uh, Blue Danube is like 10 minutes long. So it'll be playing whilst totality is cresting and it'll last throughout totality and then also ease us out of it. Um... It's crazy. How is how is the darkness coming on on that camera? It's definitely a little darker. It's definitely a little darker. Oh, you can change it. Oh, there you go. Oh. We're three minutes away. Um, let's get our glasses on. What are you doing, dude, on the motorcycle? Oh, I'm blind. Here, now you gotta get me. Here, Steve. What? Stop oh, around. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I don't need these anymore. Mm. Alright. You look fashionable. <laughs> I, no, I'm, no, I'm not, I'm not giving you the camera. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. I, took, I, oh, I yeah. took my glasses off. Okay. Put the camera down, watch the eclipse. And let's go. 
Sit. Try to play a shot. You might want to put it on that round. Where'd it go? Where's the sun? Shit. Oh my god, it's tiny. <laughs> I can barely see it. Oh my god, it's so dim. One minute. Look at the clouds over there. Oh my it god, like it's so weird. Clear out space on my phone. Just delete full apps. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Until you can see a star. Holy shit! You can. <laughs> yeah, over there. I kind of. Holy shit! <laughs> oh yeah. All oh, the lights went on. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm losing, losing that. Ten. Seven. Six. Five. Holy fuck! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god! You can see the spots! You can see the dots! It does not. Oh my god. Yeah, look at the sky. Does it look insane on the monitor? You like barely see it. You can't even see it. I smoke so. Okay, we got one minute. There's mosquitoes! No way! <laughs> I know! It's like bedtime. It's like it's not even. So, Bailey, the little, like those are mountains. You're seeing in between the mountains. Holy shit. I think it's mentally impossible. I'm trying to play a little bit. I'm so sad. Like, they said the planet's so sad. What about it? The mosquitoes are actually. Yeah, they're act like they were all waiting for this moment. God, that's beautiful. What? No wonder people went absolutely nuts and had to predict these. Like. Stop. You're too smart for the group. Stop. 
I think I'll be dead by then. I won't have to worry about it. <laughs> I'm afraid of the moment where we. I'll give you. I'll give you a heads up. It's coming. like I've seen so many images of it right. but like seeing that up in the sky at the thing you can't look at like wow <laughs> I just don't know it was, it was pretty sweet I'm so glad I got to see it <laughs> happy to share it with you too it's kind of fun in the background <laughs> completely lost the shot what do you mean well, during the actual clips, it was just black. You can see it. Could you get it? What? No, no, it was too dark. Yeah, I, I, like, I put the filter back on and I couldn't see it. There goes the light. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Check this. Check it. Whoa. And you got it. <laughs> You did it. Yeah. <laughs> you guys did it. It is on otherworldly. Um, it uh, it gave me a more of a forlorn melancholy than I was I was expecting, and I had a little bit of a uh, not to make everything a movie reference, but at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark, when they open the Ark of the Covenant. And oh my god, look at those birds. We're not supposed to see this. Yeah, no, it had a real look away, Marion. Whatever you do, don't open your eyes. Sensation to it. I felt like I shouldn't be looking at it. Um, Speaking of things you shouldn't should be, be looking, looking at, at it's, it's time to move your frame. I, um... Whoop! <laughs> Whoop, there it goes! No pressure. Oh, a little bit of pressure. I'm turning off. No, leave the stream on. I, I don't think it's even streaming, but... There's this thing about uh, primates, and like, uh, anthropologists and biologists were like, well, apes and humans that slept under trees did a lot better. They like, and it was only 5% of like, 
heat energy radiating off them at night that would hit the leaves and come back down, right? And, it, and that was like enough to like give them an edge against, you know, being out in the cold. But it was like, you really just realize that, like that is a hot thing. That is so hot. Yeah. The fact that like, and, and any change to that, like just like, all the heat would irradiate away instantly. There's nothing. Yeah, we'd freeze. There's like nothing keeping us warm. No. Except for that. I will say, now that I think about it, like the road there right behind us, people did stop driving yeah. right before it. Like. There's so much, like. Cold. Yeah, I, I, I'm struggling to put into words like just the amount of energy that's coming off the sun and how it fuels everything. And that even like a slight decrease or increase in cloud cover could like drastically change the yeah. planet. Mm -hmm. Like there was like one volcano that spewed out magma for like a million years straight. Mm -hmm. And like that was enough just to cool down the planet. Just to just like <laughs> cause almost an extinction level event in, um, in ancient Earth. Mm -hmm. Where? I'm afraid to look up. I know. <laughs> They're kind of like off this way, but we're like in the, just above the tree line. How do you feel? Bit of cold, but it was cool. How do you feel? I don't know. It was like I've seen so many images of it, but like Sit on your own. seeing that up in the sky at the thing you can't look at, like wow. <laughs> I don't know. It was it was pretty sweet. <laughs> so glad I got to see it. <laughs> Hell yeah! Happy to share it with you too. Strauss playing in the background, very faintly.